previously on Let's Play Manhunt 2. You killed Michael? That fucker double-crossed us. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Those cops knew who you were. You're gonna have to change those clothes. Judy? Michael said they messed with my head. I doubt the target is even here. Spangler, look for Higgs and Spaulding. They should be coming from the adult specialty shop. It's called porno, genius. I'm sick of this. We're gonna find Judy and talk to her. You volunteered for an experiment. You can't play God We've with your own mind. We've tested it. It's safe. It's just the final part of the process. You're gambling with your life. What about me and the kids? Look, if it's a success, we can clear all our debts and start a new life. Turning yourself into a psycho? What are you thinking? This is a real chance to change the course of medical history. Stop fighting! What's wrong, Mom? Come here, honey. Son, we're just We still good. love each other. You're asking too much of us, Danny. Of yourself. What does psycho mean? It just means someone who thinks differently. Can't you see that you have to put your family first? I am putting them first. If this all works out, we'll be providing for our great grandchildren. This is so wrong, here. Danny. Project Danny. They're His everywhere. conditioning has fractured. He's unstable. Daddy, what's wrong? You can wake up now, Daniel. I say, wake up! Judy! I don't believe this shit. Danny, this is crazy. She's no use to us. She knows more than she's saying. I've got to talk to her again. All right, so uh, here we are at Bee's Honey Pot, another whorehouse. <clears throat> Can I help you? Yeah, Tony Ricchetti here. I'm looking from... for Judy. <laughs> um, I guess Danny's a ventriloquist, huh? Wait a minute. Not only does he have psychic powers, but he's also a ventriloquist. You know, Danny's just so talented. Hey, Not buddy, just at murdering people, don't but go snooping, all right? I love this guy's Why shirt. Why don't you stay where I can see you, tough guy? All right. So first thing to do is to kill Tony Vichetti here. There's a guy here. Send him back to Vice fucking city. Glasses. <clears throat> now, uh, I do Ten have minutes. No problem, sir. Somewhat we'll of an announcement. Let me just kill this guy with a phone here. Now, this may come as a surprise to some of you guys. I know it surprised me. But there's actually a modding community out there for Manhunt 2. Can you believe it? A modding community for Manhunt 2? Um. Yeah, break his fucking neck. There you go. We can't rest yet. The killing's just started. Alright. So, uh, anyway. They actually released a bunch of little files that modify the game, but. What it does, uh, primarily, is it takes the the beta version of the game, the beta version that was leaked by a Rockstar London employee, and they, they found out who he was and they fired his ass, but when the game was released, he leaked it onto the internet. <clears throat> and anyway, it, uh, it takes the executions that were in the beta version and it patches them into the PC version, which is what I have. Um... In some cases, the executions are the same, but the uh, the camera direction is different. But a lot of times, the executions become longer and more brutal. Like the telephone execution. I know you haven't seen it yet, but there we go. Yeah, nice and juicy, like a rotten pumpkin after Halloween. Anyway, um... <clears throat> right, so... You haven't seen the telephone execution before, but I guarantee you it's longer and more brutal. Um, he drags the guy around more, and he takes more time to break his neck. In some cases, the executions are really pretty disgusting. I think we'll be seeing those later. Um, also, it re... It re... Uh, it puts back in the gun executions, which I'm most excited about. They don't work perfectly. I think maybe it's because I haven't removed a certain file or added a certain file I'm supposed to. I'm not really sure. Let's take care of this guy. The level 3 uh, pan execution is a little longer and a little more brutal. I think you'll notice this one. There we go. And this part here is added on. You definitely don't see this in before. 
So, uh, yeah. I'm pretty happy about that. I mean, like I said, it doesn't work perfectly. So we gotta get through that grate. Well, not really. We don't really need to get through that grate. Um, you know, I... But you'll, you'll see in a moment. So anyway, we need wire cutters to get through there, of course. I'm sure all you guys remember. Red Light, Part 4. And, uh... There is some entertainment going on over here, because after all, it is a whorehouse, I guess. A brothel. And, uh, that's... That's the loudest lap dance I've ever heard. <laughs> so we gotta wait for him to moan. There we go. <clears throat> Don't want to disturb them. Jeez. <laughs> Although, I don't know. I've never really moaned that loud in a lap dance before. Maybe she's just really heavy or something. She's very heavy, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Best not to question it too much. Now, we want to take these wire cutters and we want to cut that mesh. <clears throat> And we want to, uh, climb through the vent to get to the next area. Undetected, of course. I mean, that's assuming that things go the way they're supposed to go. Which, uh, we all know that's not always the case. Here we go. <clears throat> I do have a cold, by the way, so... If there's some sniffling or some coughing, I'll try to get rid of it, but I'm not making any promises. And, uh, I could wait in the shadow near that dead guy, but, uh, I really want to kill someone with this toilet, because that's another execution that's been extended with the beta modification. So that guy heard us pulling the fence away, and that's why he ran over. If you time it correctly, he, uh, you know, he won't hear it, and then you sneak through the vent. But, uh, this way is really, really less tedious, <laughs> so that's the way I'm doing it. Anyway, I'm trying to get a guy to come over here by the toilet. But these stupid fucking guys, they don't want to cooperate. Come on. Come on over. There we go. Nice. Alright. Get down there. Yeah, keep your fucking face down there. So, uh... <clears throat> it's a longer execution. There. Yeah, one last kick. Real important. Now we've got a new weapon. It's called the double barrel shotgun. And, uh, <clears throat> you gotta be really careful. Because, uh... You gotta be really careful because this gun does a lot of damage. And if you get shot point blank with this thing, it will one hit kill you, I think. So we want to be very, very careful. You know. It's not like in the first stage where everyone had Glocks and you could take, you know, five or six point blank shots and not have to worry about it. These double barrel shotguns are incredibly dangerous, so. <clears throat> We're just stepping up the game a little bit. Now, that door I just walked through is locked until they aggro. See, so we would have gone through there. Um, in case you're wondering, the stripper disappears as soon as the, uh, as soon as the enemies become hostile, as soon as they hear a noise. I'm sure in the uncensored version you could just kill her for no reason, but they took that out for obvious reasons. And, uh, let's head downstairs. I didn't realize we were upstairs to begin with. kind of wonder how Danny got here in the first place without having to go through all this shit, but maybe he took an elevator or something. First floor, huh? Alright, so there's some more enemies coming up. I'm going to see if I can sneak up on these guys. <clears throat> because we do get a new gun, uh, shotgun execution for the double barrel shotgun. doesn't work quite the way it should, but, well, you'll, you'll see what I mean in a second. Let's throw that over there. So, uh... This is really meant to be a, a shooting stage. I mean... <clears throat> they do have shadows, but really, they're just there. For... 
<laughs> nice. <coughs> so, I think, I think the problem was I didn't remove a certain file, and so while Danny is doing the beta execution, the normal execution that was in the PC before is still playing, so that's why his head exploded early. I guess. Not quite sure how to fix that. I don't really care to fix it, to be honest. Oh, shut the fuck up. There we go. So, this level is really just meant to be a running gun stage. You can sneak up on people if you try really hard, but let's be honest. I mean, unless you're a crazy son of a bitch like me doing a let's play of the game, you're probably not gonna spend too much time trying to figure out how to sneak up on people, right? So anyway, like I was saying, I mean, did Danny just take an elevator straight up and skip all this stuff? Because this seems awfully shitty, even for a... a oh, oh my god. <laughs> seems like some other serial killer's been staying here. They cut off the fucking head. <laughs> maybe, they, maybe they went to bed with a shovel or something. Alright. <coughs> and here's some more shooting. Okay. I take a lot of damage here. Um, it's a shotgun, so obviously the range isn't that great. There we go. I'm gonna pick some painkillers here so I don't die. And, uh, apparently no one sees me, so let's take care of this guy right here. There we go. The best thing about the double barrel shotgun is that it's really easy to count the enemy's gunshots, you know? There's only two shots, so once they fire twice, you know they need to reload and you can take advantage of that. <clears throat> Let's try to sneak up on this guy. You know, just finish him off with a old fashioned. Uh, oh shit. Uh oh. Oh shit, shit, shit. Okay. That could have been. That could have been very bad for us. <laughs> I mean, seriously, the, the shotgun is very dangerous. So, we don't want to pick up the handgun because we want to keep the pliers because we're not quite done. Oh my god, there's a lot of blood. We're not quite done using it yet. Actually, if we keep the pliers along with us, we can get a particular weapon that we won't be seeing until another level or two. So, we don't want to head to the left. That's, uh... Fuck body parts all over the place? Shit. Huh. There's some more body parts over there. Oh god. Oh. Disturbing. Locked up in a cage. I wonder what the fuck was going on in here. I mean, is this like a project thing? Or is that just like a side thing the hillbillies have going on? You know, there's a head. I wonder if that's the head from the bed up there earlier. So anyway, we want to get through here. This is another thing that I didn't discover until I started doing a let's play of this game. Because, you know, I, I, play this, I play these levels quite a few times. Not just to get the playthrough right, but also to get footage for my previously on Manhunt sections. So here's an Uzi. It's a weapon that we won't be seeing for another level or two. And, uh... Let's hide over here. <sighs> and then when he turns his back, we'll sneak up on him. And he's just gonna forget all about us and walk away. That's fine by me. And, uh, there's actually some extra things that the beta mod has that I haven't loaded yet. Because it makes the game kind of silly and fucked up. I think if I load those, the executions will work better. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping to get the, the fire extinguisher execution, but it didn't work out. Let's go back here real quick, because there's actually something I forgot. It's an extra clip for our Uzi here. There we go. What did I tell you? You're gonna get us killed! Oh, calm down, Leo. We're getting to it. So anyway, uh... 
best thing about the Uzi is that although the bullets are we're running out of people to kill the bullets are basically like the handgun bullets but you have rapid fire which means that you can kill people really quickly even if you're shooting them at long range you know that makes the Uzi the second best weapon in the game <clears throat> There still is one weapon that we haven't seen yet that's even more devastating. So, uh, here's the part of the game where it's really just straight up shooting. You know, nothing but hallways and shooting. And it looks like they're doing construction on this place or something. Okay, headshot. You know, I wonder... How Danny learned to use a gun so well? I mean, I mean, did Leo teach him how to use that gun or something? You know, uh, did did whatever Le uh, Danny was talking about make him that way? You know, that thing that he was talking about with his wife to make him a psycho. Did it also make him very good at guns? You know. Is that is that how Leo got so good at killing people? Did he also go through the? No, oh, she's running away. There's Judy. So, uh, you know, because I mean, when you think about it, these guys are supposedly some special black ops soldiers who work for a top secret project, and they can't stop Danny at all. You know, speaking of violence and killing, um, in that cutscene we saw at the beginning, Danny was pretty angry, wasn't he? Uh, where, where the fuck did she go? Huh. She just disappeared. Anyway. I mean, we, we've never really seen Danny that angry before, right? But he's actually got kind of an angry streak in him. You know, maybe, maybe it's not all Leo. Maybe, maybe Danny's the one we should be worried about. Oh god, look at him. Look how fucking fucked up he looks. He looks evil. <laughs> oh, come on. We know. We know she went behind this. Right? It wasn't really a surprise, was it? Come on. Alright, so we're almost through with the stage. Let's get through here. <clears throat> okay. Climbing on up. Now he's here. With Leo. I don't know how he found me. Are you crazy? He's an animal, and Danny barely remembers who I am. Don't threaten me, Pikmin. Huh. I won't do this anymore. I Leo quit. must be hiding on the other end or something like that. I wonder where Leo got off to anyway. You know, every cutscene, Leo is spick and span. He's totally clean, right? And Danny has all this blood and shit all over him. You know, Leo should start pulling his fucking weight. You know? That's one thing that... Okay. This guy has a pea shooter, so he's really no problem at all. Come on, you motherfucker. Shut up. Nice. Here's this fucking logo again. We've been seeing this shit everywhere. On TV. On the buildings, everywhere. What the fuck is this, anyway? Is that the project's logo or something like that? I think they need to talk to their the branding off branch of their their company or whatever. You know, presentation is very important. There's a bunch of tapes here too. I wonder what that's all about. You know, who gives a shit? Those are the last two enemies this level, so let's uh go up there and have a conversation with Judy. <laughs> oh, there she is. And, uh, what, what is she doing? No, no, over there, over there. I actually watched her run back and forth a couple of times, hoping that she would, like, fall off the building or something, but that never happened. So, uh, yeah. Nothing to it but to get out there and watch the cutscene. There she is. Stay away from me! No! I need to talk to you. I can't trust Leo. Don't listen to her, Danny. I've helped you all I can, Danny. Don't trust anybody, especially... <gasps> what? How the fuck? 
Where is the gunshot? Wow. Leo really liked that, huh? It's okay, I've got you. Huh, so Danny's freaking out again. What's his problem? I wonder if that means we're gonna get another flashback. Well, what can I say? You know, that sure was a level.